tale of the lowly red panda. The only thing that comes to mind when you hear the word panda is the large, ancient, and white bear. Red pandas are bamboo eaters that are indigenous to Asia's Himalayan forests, unlike their cousins. The two species are not closely related despite these similarities and their similar names. Red pandas are the only surviving members of their taxonomic family and are considerably smaller than giant pandas. The giant panda's pseudothumb, a modified wrist bone used to hold bamboo during feeding, is shared by red pandas. Red pandas can go into dormancy in extremely cold weather, which causes their metabolic rate to drop and then rise periodically as they awaken to search for food. The only remaining member of the Iluridae family is the red panda. Welcome to the Animal Chanel, the one channel for all the interesting animal facts around the globe. Ready to dive in? Let's go! In India, Bhutan, China, Nepal, and Myanmar, red pandas are officially protected due to their endangered status. Their main risks include poaching, human meddling, and habitat loss and degradation. The total number of red pandas has reportedly decreased over the past two decades by 40%, according to researchers. In the upcoming years, it is likely that this drop will continue. Throughout their range, red pandas can be found in select protected places, including parks in Myanmar, Bhutan, India, Nepal, and China. Despite restrictions, logging, hunting, and livestock grazing continue to be practiced in many of these protected areas. Logging, grazing animals, desire for firewood, human encroachment, and farming are the main causes of habitat loss. Red pandas have fewer places to reside that are good for them as human populations in Asia have risen. Human encroachment brings with it livestock, agriculture, and dogs, all of which pose various risks to the species. Red pandas may face competition from herds of livestock for available bamboo leaves, which could harm their habitat. Food and shelter are made less accessible when land is cleared to make space for crops. Additionally, domestic dogs can hunt or infect red pandas with diseases like canine distemper. Additionally, as red panda populations become more separated due to habitat degradation, fragmentation has led to inbreeding. According to reports, the illegal pet trade has been expanding across Asia. Poaching and the illicit trade in red panda pelts, meat, and other goods have, however, declined. Climate change and natural catastrophes, ineffective legislation and regulation enforcement, and low local government investment in red panda conservation all contribute to the dangers to red pandas. Red pandas have occasionally reproduced successfully in zoos in North America, Europe, and Asia. Growing and maintaining self-sustaining populations in zoos is a top concern as a safeguard against extinction and to learn more about species biology when their wild populations fall. Red panda's special habitat is one of the factors contributing to the challenge of conservation to have the best chance of surviving. These animals need a particular set of conditions, such as being close to water sources, having the right amount of bamboo, and being at the right altitude and forest cover. These optimal environments are getting harder and harder to discover as human encroachment increases. Degraded habitats result in inconsistent bamboo growth, which increases stress on the environment. Red pandas are clearly recognized thanks to their distinctive ruddy coat color, which serves as a form of camouflage in the canopy of fir trees where the limbs are covered in clumps of reddish-brown moss and white lichens. They have short snouts, broad, pointed ears, and round, massive heads. Their white faces have reddish-brown tear markings that go from the corners of their mouths to their eyes. It's possible that these patterns develop to shield their eyes from the sun. Red and buff rings alternately decorate their tails. Red pandas have a thick, silky undercoat that is guarded by long, coarse hairs. These are boreal mammals' long, bushy tails aid in balance maintenance and shield them from chilly winds and weather. Their feet, which have five widely spaced toes and claws that may partially retract, are entirely covered in dense fur. Red pandas use smell glands between their footpads, anal glands, and urine to mark their territory. Red pandas' feet include smell glands on the bottom that release an odorless liquid that is colorless to humans. The underside of the red panda's tongue, which possesses a comb-like structure for collecting fluids and putting it close to a gland inside its mouth, is used to detect smells. This adaption is unique to this carnivore. Red pandas are adept climbers and use trees for protection, hiding from predators, and winter sunbathing. The fibula and tibia are joined in such a way that the fibula can rotate along its axis, and they have extraordinarily flexible ankles. 
Red pandas may adeptly climb headfirst down tree trunks due to these characteristics. Red pandas have quite strong dentition compared to other carnivores of their size. They also have a straightforward carnivore stomach while eating primarily leaves. The giant panda's pseudothumb, a modified wrist bone used to hold bamboo during feeding, is shared by red pandas. The only extant member of the Iluridae family is the red panda, whose taxonomic standing has long been a source of controversy among scientists. They were first classified as Procyonidae, the raccoon family, in 1825 due to ecological traits and morphological similarities in the skull, teeth, and ring tail. This classification is debatable. They were later placed in the bear family, also known as Ursidae, as a result of some DNA agreements. However, according to the most recent genetic studies, red pandas belong to a separate family called the Iluridae. Red pandas are an old species in the order Carnivora or superfamily Mystiloidea. According to molecular phylogenetic analyses, they are most likely related to the group that contains skunks, raccoons, and weasels. New genetic research revealed that there are two separate species of red pandas, Ilurus elvivans fulgens and Ilurus fulgens stinae, which were previously believed to be two subspecies also known as Ilurus fulgens refulgens. The latter is typically bigger and redder in tone than the former. Red pandas are found in the Himalayas and other high mountains, where they can be found in temperate, high-altitude forests with bamboo understory. They extend from the western Sichuan and Yunnan provinces of China to northern Myanmar, Burma. They can also be found in Tibet, India, and Nepal in suitable environment. In addition to Nepal, India, and Bhutan are also home to Ilurus fulgens fulgens. China and Myanmar are the main habitats for Ilurus fulgens stiani, also known as Ilurus fulgens refulgens. About 95% of the red panda's diet is bamboo. Red pandas carefully consume the healthiest leaf dips and, when accessible, delicate shoots. Unlike giant pandas that consume almost all of the bamboo's above-ground pots, including the culm or woody stem, red pandas, like giant pandas, use their forepaws to grab plant stems and their jaws to shear off specific leaves. Red pandas have a limited supply of energy since they must consume bamboo exclusively. They have also been known to hunt and consume small mammals and birds on occasion. They may also scavenge for roots, succulent grasses, fruits, insects, and grubs. Red pandas in captivity consume leaf eater cookies, bamboo, and bamboo shoots when in season. They get enrichment foods like apples, grapes, bananas, blueberries, and other fruits and vegetables. Red pandas raised in captivity can be active at any time of day, but they are most active during the crepuscular hours of dawn and twilight. They awaken for roughly 45% of the day on average, and they are more active in cooler months, particularly during the winter mating season. Red pandas can go into dormancy in extremely cold weather, which causes their metabolic rate to drop and then rise as they wake up to hunt for food every few hours. Given the low nutritional value of their diet, this adaptation enables red pandas to expend almost as little energy as sloths, which is quite advantageous. Additionally, they engage in temperature-regulating actions like curling up into a little ball to conserve body heat and reduce energy use in the cold. Red pandas breed in the northern hemisphere from January to March. The breeding season lasts from June through August in the southern hemisphere. This breeding season is brought on by the abrupt change in photoperiod, or day length, that occurs after the winter solstice. The gestation period may be as long as 156 days, but it may also be as little as 93 days because mating takes place on the ground. A protracted gestation period is thought to be the outcome of a slow metabolic rate since reproduction uses a lot of energy. The most delicate and palatable bamboo shoots and leaves appear around the time of late spring births. The females build a nest and line it with moss, leaves, and other soft plant material in tree holes, hollow stumps, tree roots, or bamboo thickets. In the northern hemisphere, litters normally consist of two cubs that are born between May and July. In order to protect them from the chilly climate, red pandas are born totally coated in fur. Ilurus fulgens fulgens species newborns weigh 3 to 4 ounces, about 90 to 110 grams. Until they reach adulthood, the young remain with the mother for around a year. When red pandas are about 18 months old, they become sexually mature, except for when they are breeding. Red pandas live alone. Most breeding pairs kept by humans cohabit it year-round. One animal's home territory in the wild is roughly one square mile. Red pandas have a maximum lifespan of 23 years. At roughly 12 to 14 years old, they start to exhibit age-related symptoms. 
males can still reproduce after the age of 12. However, females cannot. Red panda's special habitat is one of the factors contributing to the challenge of conservation to have the best chance of surviving. These animals need a particular set of conditions, such as being close to water sources, having the right amount of bamboo, and being at the right altitude and forest cover. These optimal environments are getting harder and harder to discover as human encroachment increases. Degraded habitats result in inconsistent bamboo growth, which increases stress on the environment. Let's do our best to save these creatures. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment below. Turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.